my good friends i would be remiss if i didn't talk about scrolling and zooming this is another part that has been missing for a lot of logic users out there and today we're going to fill in that gap we need to learn how to scroll and how to zoom we've already covered zooming to some extent and if you've been watching the modules and you've been watching my work you've already seen me do a lot of this but you probably don't know how and so let's go ahead and learn this now by holding the option button we can go ahead and enlarge and make the tracks area smaller so let's do that now i'm going to hold option and then i am scrolling using the two finger gesture that's going to expand the tracks area and i am minimizing the same area vertically like so we can also do this horizontally this is a really nice workflow. If you don't have a trackpad, command up arrow key, command down arrow key gets you there. Same with command left and right arrow key. I definitely want to point out that if you use these in tandem, then you are certainly going to be a triple threat because you can use the pinch gesture to zoom in very quickly. And then you can use the key commands to be able to access this in a very precise way. So check that out. Let's talk about track zooming. We can zoom to selection, but also track zoom. So if I click on any track and I want to look at the parts a little bit better, I want to look at the regions a bit better. If I hit control Z, all of a sudden that one track is zoomed. If I hit the down arrow key, now I'm on track two and that is zoomed in. If I want to zoom into a selection, let's say the second region per se on track number one, I hit Z, that will zoom to selection. So I want you to be clear on how to navigate, but also how to be able to use any and all transport features, how to play things back, how to look at the program. We have to tie all of this information together. So we've talked about scrolling, track, zooming. What about navigating? Well, we have the vertical and horizontal zoom, and then we have the zoom sliders at the top of the screen here. I don't necessarily want you to use these as crutches, but there may be some situations where you are going to need a way out. And so I want you to understand what auto vertical zoom does and what horizontal zoom does as well. What's neat about these parts of the program is that if I enable vertical auto zoom and if I hit the key command X, let's say you can see how logic is doing all the zooming work for me. Logic is zooming for me if i hit x again the program is now making these adjustments for me bear in mind if i did not have this on this is what it would look like i hit x and now the mixer is in effect covering the tracks area if i have auto vertical zoom on logic is going to take action and zoom this part of the screen for me this also applies horizontally so if this is a more automatic feature the zoom sliders on the right hand side are manual. You have to use these in order to adjust the screen vertically and horizontally. Of course, the key commands can also do that for you. Key command, command down arrow and command up arrow respectively. So go ahead and play with that. See what works for you. Understand what each part does to affect the program and you too will learn how to scroll zoom and ultimately become a logic pro power user all right team go ahead and conquer this get it done and i will see you in the next video let's go